Not happy with the grout color that you've grouted with? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two ways on how to change your grout color after you've grouted. And I'm going to show you that right now. If I've grouted a piece and I'm not happy with the final result, then I will regrout that piece again. But I won't regrout it if the grout has been sealed. And I can only regrout if there's enough room in the grout lines to regrout. So if your grout is right up to the top of the tessera and there's no room for grouting, then I really don't think you can just regrout and hope that it covers. But in this particular sample that I've got here, I've actually, re uh, I've actually uh, left room in the grout lines so as I can apply another coloured grout. And this is what I do. Now I'm not saying this is the only way to regrout, but this is just the way I do it. I have a bottle and I just give the surface a, a light spray just to dampen that bit of grout that's there. And uh, that will help so that the grout there won't suck the moisture out of the new grout and also it just makes it a bit easier to adhere. So I've got my grout here and I'm going to grout this in black. And then, as always I tend to use my hand but in saying that uh, you know people do use other methods to apply the grout but I really just like using my hand. And you just work it into the grout as normal as what you did with the other grout. And I put far too much grout on this. But that's okay. And then I will just get rid of this excess amount of grout. Just tip that in there. So we don't need all that. There you go. And then what we'll do is we'll let that haze over and then we'll come back, uh, you know, probably be about 15 minutes and then we can then clean it off and see how it comes up. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and I'm just going to get a wet sponge and wipe this off, or a very wrung out sponge. We'll just wipe this off. Constantly turning the sponge over. Okay, that's got the bulk of it off. Clean it off with this um, with this clean rag once it's just hazed over a bit more, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Well, there you go. It's turned out really well. It's all nice and shiny, and I find this particular process really does help me if I've chosen the wrong grout color. When I'm choosing my grout color, I choose it when I choose my tessera. So as it takes out that guessing game at the end when you've completed your piece. But if you do happen to choose uh, a wrong grout colour, which has happened to me, this is what I do to change that colour so it fixes the issue. What I've done is I've actually grouted two different colours on this piece of Marmox board. And I'm sorry about the grout that's gotten into the pits of the tiles. That's why I generally don't use pitted tiles. Uh, because I find that's really annoying. However, because this is a sample piece, I'm not going to be using it, uh, so it's not an issue. You certainly don't see, if you use a lighter coloured grout, you don't see it so much in the pits, but it's still there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try a few different paints uh, and, you know, colouring your grout after it's finished. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do this for an outdoor piece. This is more for an indoor piece because paints can fade. Uh, but certainly for an indoor piece, uh, I haven't had an issue with them. And I always use good quality uh, paints uh, with good pigment in it. And I find things like Golden work really, really well and Matisse. Uh, it is personal preference to what you like, uh, but I prefer to use more expensive paints rather than the cheap paints that are quite runny and the pigments are not as good in them. So I thought what I'd do is I'd use a phthalo blue, which is a red shade. Uh, interference, now interference is a, uh, and it's an interference blue, is a, uh, a metallic type of paint. And just to see, I've never used this before, so just to see how it goes. And then I thought I would use Matisse Flow, uh, which is a permanent light violet. And just for fun, I thought I'd try an iridescent uh, bronze as well, which is a golden brand. 
So I'm just going to now put, and I, the reason why I've done it in two colors is so we can try it in the light color grout and also the dark color grout to see how light color grouts and dark color grouts will interact with the paint. Now, there has been some talk also about when you're grouting, should you grout and you're going to choose uh, you know, a black or white grout, multiple color grouting, should you do the dark color grout first or the light color grout first? Because obviously if you get dark into light, you'll see it. But from my experience here and on doing this piece as well, uh, I actually did get some uh, black grout into the light grout and that was a bit of a pain and I actually got some light grout into the back black grout and that was a bit of a pain. So I really didn't notice anything where I should grout one color, give that a preference as the first color to grout with. But again, you know, that's just my personal opinion and everyone will no doubt have a different opinion on that, but I just didn't think it made any difference at all. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now uh, get out the bronze and we're just going to put a little bit on this plate here. And put the lid back on. I'm just going to paint this over the grout line on the pail. And I'm also going to paint it over the black. Just so that we can see what the coverage is like. And as you can see, it's quite a thick paint too. Okay, now what I'm going to do is rinse that and then we'll wipe that off. That paint, paint is very annoying. Okay, so the coverage is quite good. However, as you can see, is it's actually a little lighter on the light grout than what it is in the dark grout. But let's try another coat and see what that's like. And we'll actually leave, leave this on for a little while and then we'll come back to it and see what it's like. Okay, now let's try, uh, we'll try now the Thalo Blue, which is the golden brand, as I said before. Put a little bit down on the plate. And it's good to experiment and do R&D. Uh, I find that it does help when you're looking at uh, creating things. That's how you find out how things work for you. Yes, this is a very intense color, and that's why I thought I'd choose this one. Now obviously it's by far better to actually uh, use oxides or specific uh, grout colorants than what it is to paint your grout. But there are instances where you may have a pictorial picture and you think, oh, that's not the right color to use for the leaves or the tree. And to save the piece, uh, that will, uh, you know, a, a paint, a simple paint over can help that. But again, I wouldn't do this for outside. I would only do it for inside. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is wipe off that gold. And I have all these rags around. I'm just giving it a light wipe over. I do like that gold. And of course you're going to get you're going to get um, the gold into the pits of the tiles. You're not going to be able to stop that. But if I had have used the same tiles as these ones, then that would not be an issue. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the Matisse Permanent Light Violet. There you go, that's a bit much.
This is a flow paint, so it actually flows on, as the name suggests, better. But, you know, when I'm doing any type of painting, I only use good quality paints. I don't buy cheap paints, or what I consider to be cheap paints anyway. Now we'll wipe off the th phthalo blue. another rag that's just going to get everywhere that blue I'm not a big fan of painting the grout but I do believe that there are times when you really do need to do that to fix a piece up Okay, now we'll try the Interference Blue, which is the golden brand. So we'll put this over here. Like I said, it's not a dominant colour and that reflects in how it's, how it's showing up here. Well, there you go, you see it better in the black. Actually, it's really nice in the black. Gives that iridized look. But that's very interesting. The colour completely changes because it is light, but it really does show in it. But it's known as interference blue. So it has that blue to it, but it's just more noticeable in the black. And I suppose that makes perfect sense because black is dark. And that's light. Okay, so we're going to wipe that directly down. I have crockery on my table here because I'm doing a mosaic and... Uh, and <laughs> It's rattling and everything, it's really annoying. I should have cleared the table first. Now obviously you couldn't do this if you used porous tessera. You would have to seal the tessera. Now I've just painted over the top of the black grout and the almond grout with another product. Now it's a product that I use and I forgot that I had it. So I just thought I would add that to the mix as well. Otherwise I would have added another row of tiles. Now the product I've used is tinsel and it's a very good product and I use it for tinting grout and also cement based adhesive, also known as thin set. Now it's very, very high in pigment, so it's very, very good to use because it is a product uh, for tinting. So I've applied that to the sides here and uh, we'll, we'll leave it go for a couple of hours and then we'll come back and reassess the colours and, and see how they uh, come up after drying. It's been a couple of hours and the paints are now dry. Uh, I have tilted this piece up to try and give you a better shot of the colours. And hopefully you will also see a couple of the paints that we used that were uh, iridized. Now the first one is the tinsel uh, and that was the afterthought. That's actually covered extremely well over both coloured grouts. And to be honest, I thought it would because it is a specific colourant and it's so high in pigment coverage is really really good now the next one across is the golden brand iridescent bronze and that's covered pretty well too of both um, both uh, grouts the next one across is the golden brand phthalo blue and that's covered quite well too the only thing is it's a little lighter in the almond uh, over the top of the almond grout not that it's anything bad it's just a bit lighter and and I quite like both those colors 
The next one across is the Matisse Permanent Light Violet, which is covered well. And lastly is the Golden Brand Interference Blue, which is an effects type of paint. It's, it's quite transparent. And uh, it's a bit blotchy over the black grout, but you can actually see uh, more of the iridized in the paint over the black grout than what you can in the almond grout. It's, it, I would say it's still there in the over the top of the almond grout, the iridized, but it uh, just covers better over the almond because it's, it's a lighter color and the paint is actually a lighter, it's, it's a, like a semi-transparent type of paint. It's an effects paint. Now, we also have uh, the first one I did, which was using the Ladder Creek Permacolor Grout, which I completely re-grouted. And for an outside piece, this is the better way to go than this technique. I, to be honest, I'm not keen on painting over the top of grout with artist acrylic paint, but if it means that it's going to save your piece, then that's going to be a better option than being totally unhappy with it. Now, I've also used Ladder Creek Permacolor Sander Grout for this black grout and this almond grout as well. So anyway, I hope you've taken something away from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comments section on the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.